everyone welcome back to sftc panther my name is amit and in this video we are going to talk about what is update records in flow in the previous video we have talked about what are create records and get records and we have seen how to get the records and how to create a record by taking the input from the users so before we go ahead please do like share subscribe the channel and also press the bell icon so that you don't miss any update from our channel so first thing before we start let's quickly talk about the scenario that we are going to take here is so the scenario is very simple on the account record detail page what you need to display is you need to display the address both the address billing and shipping address on the screen with the value whatever the value that account has given and if user provides any of these address information and then click on next then the address should be updated here on the account information so that is what we are going to do as we are in the screen flow so we will just select a screen flow for the flows again you know how to create that so you have to just go to the home page find the flow and under process automation need to select flows and then from this screen you just need to create click on new flow and then here in this screen you need to select a screen flow whatever the layout you want i always prefer to use auto layout the very first thing that we will do is here in the requirement what we talked about is we have to put the record inside account record detail page so the very first thing that we will do is we'll create a variable to read the record id of the particular account so as we have already talked in the previous videos how to get the record id the variable name is always going to be record id data type will be text and it will be available for input and then we will just save it so this is the record that we need and then what we need is we need to display the information of that account so to display first we need to get the record so we will just go ahead and click on get record so the label i have just given which is soql account information and api name is get record account record and the object here we will select which is account and the condition that we will uh, put here is we will say that id equals to our variable that we have created which is record id we only want to select one in record because even for this particular record there will be only one record and we wanted to choose all the fields so if later on we wanted to use any fields we can just go ahead and refer those fields and then click on done so we will just uh, add the fault path over here if there is any error in the querying the records we will just add this error later on once we have got the record we need to display the address information to do that let's quickly see here we will create one screen element okay and here we will say that shipping address to display the address we have already seen how to do that so just go there and display address the reason why we are using address because we have to give the ability to user to edit that record so let's quickly make this as api name as shipping address now here we need to populate the values right so from where we will populate the value we already have the record values on the uh, from our SQL query so we'll just select this is our record single we will say okay we've got account record and then whatever we have got this is city so we will say that shipping city similarly we will do for all other uh, four fields so i have just provided the values here you can see uh, for city country then postal code then we have got state and then street okay we'll go ahead and click on done so this is for our shipping ad uh, shipping address then we will have the same screen for our a billing address or if you wanted to have the uh, screen on the same like you wanted to have the address both both the address at the same screen you can just go ahead and then add the address at the same screen that is also going to work so we will use the same screen so here the label is shipping address and here we will label it as billing address and then the values similarly we have provided for shipping we will provide all the values to the billing address as well so i have just provided all the values here whatever we needed and now we will go ahead and click on done so here once the user is going to provide the input what we have to do is you have to assign the values that user has input over here to the records so that now record can get the updated value and then after we can use update records okay so how this is going to look like is so in the step one what we are doing here is we are saying soql okay and in the step two we are displaying the information so we say that display and in the step three what we are doing is we are changing the user is changing the information and then step four what we will do is whatever the record information that we have here and the user has changed over here so we have to get this 
record or get the changed value to the SQL. So here we will be using assignment. Okay. So and then after once we, the assignment is done, then only we will do the update. So that is what we are doing here. So that is what we will be doing in the flow. So we will just go ahead like previous video. We will add an assignment variable and you can just label it, uh, which is a useful label. So I have given the label as update address value to account record. And now here we have to update both billing and shipping address. So we have to just go to our account record and suppose that we wanted to go to the billing city. So to do that, we will just find our billing address, which is an input component. And then what we need is we need city value. So we will select that. Similarly, we will do for both like all the fields related to billing address as well as shipping address. So I have just mapped all 10 fields. Five for the billing address and five for the shipping address. Now, once you have mapped these values, what you have to do is just go ahead and click on done. The mapping is done here. The last element is we are going to add a update record here. So we'll say that update record. Just click on this plus icon under the data elements. You will find update records, and here you will uh, you will label update record element. Okay, and what you will say is we will say specify the IDs. Okay. So here we will select record collect uh, record or record collection. So we will select whatever the record we have got. And here we will say that update account address. So this is our label, okay? Update account address. And for update record, we will say that okay, this is going to be update record, which is UR, and then account record. And click on done. Once you have got this done, what you have to do is say okay, we have got add a fault path. And then here what we will do is we will add a fault path here for Sokol. So we'll just add an error screen. And usually, like previous videos, we'll just add the display text over here. And that is going to display whatever uh, the error is giving us, like uh, uh, the error is given by the flows. So this is the fault message. And we will make sure that we are displaying in the red color so that we, we can make, OK. So we are displaying in red color so that uh, we can make sure that it is an error, OK. So this screen is here. For the uh, get record, and then we will add connect to element, and we will connect to this particular screen element, so that we can see, okay, if there is any error in the update record, we are going uh, going to display over here. Then there is one more thing which we will display here is we will display the record updated successfully. We'll just go ahead, add an screen element because that is what we wanted to display, and then for the display text, what we will do is we'll just display a very simple message which will say that record updated. So this text is what we wanted to display and that's it. Not, now what we will do is our flow is ready, right? We don't need to do anything else. We'll just go ahead and click on save. I'll give the flow label. This is my label which says that update account address information flow. I will go ahead and save it. Once this record is saved, we'll just quickly go ahead and debug it once. And after debugging, we will activate this. So as we have created the record ID as an input variable. So here it will asking the record ID. Go ahead. Find the record ID of any your account and then after providing the account ID click on run. So you can see here we are able to get the billing address but we are not able to uh, get whatever the uh, what we said is basically the shipping address because there is no value in the shipping address. So if you wanted to make sure this is the account which I have given I have taken basically and you see billing address is there there is no shipping address. Now if I click here next. You can see we got record updated successfully and this is update record and these are all the values that it has updated for the billing address. Okay. Now if I get back here, refresh this page, I should be able to see the billing address here on the account record page. So now you can see here shipping and billing both address are here. That means our flow is working fine. There is one more change that we will have here is we will say, okay, this is basically so in this shipping address screen, right? What we will have is we'll just Double click here on the footer, we will configure a footer, and here for the next button, what we will do is we will say, okay, here say that next click next to update the account address. So, this is what we have to change the label of our uh, flow next screen whenever we are on the address page. Go ahead, save the updated flow, and then once it is saved, now we need to go ahead and activate this. The flow is active, we want this flow to be sitting here on the account record page so you already know how to do that you just need to go to select this gear icon and then select this edit page on your record detail page you already have added the flow what you need to do is you just need to make sure that you are adding the correct flow here so 
So you will say update account address information flow. That is what we need. So we'll select this flow and then we'll go ahead and save it. After this is saved, get back here to the account record page. So you are not able to see any information. The reason is that we haven't passed this record ID to the flow. One, one small step we missed and then the flow is not displaying the correct information. So after editing the record page, just edit your flow and say here pass the record ID. This is how you pass the record ID. And now again save it. After the changes are saved, again we need to get back to our account record detail page. Let me see the address information is here because now we are able to pass the record ID. If you wanted to test it to the different record just to make sure that the values are getting updated based on whatever the account we are in. So we will here, we are here on this different account. And you can see here this is the only value that we have for both shipping and billing address. And then if we go ahead and click on, uh, we click next to update the record. We got this record updated successfully. And if you click on finish, we should be able to see this value here as well for the shipping address, uh, shipping street as well. Okay. So that is how your update record works in the flows. This update record can be used in the different flows like auto launch trigger flow or record triggered flows or even in screen flows. So this is it for this video. Thank you for your time. And if you have any scenario, please feel free to send us to the given email which is there under the description of this video. And in the next video, we will talk about how to delete a record using uh, this flow. So thank you for your time again and we will meet in the next video. Before you go ahead, please do like, share, subscribe the channel. Thank you.